Developing a website locally can be a great way to work on a project without having to worry about having to have an internet connection or have something up that is in the process of being developed. However, there are going to be situations where you may need to share your progress with your client or someone else on your team, and you may not want to move it to a remote server in order to do that. If you're using the local application, as I have been doing on the website that we've been working on, there is a live link feature, which allows you to easily and quickly share the progress of your local site with someone else without having to upload it to a remote server. Let me show you how you can accomplish this. In order to do this, you will need to create an account with local. This can be done for free and you simply are going to log into your account by clicking the avatar in the upper left hand corner of your local application. And this will allow you to log into your account. So if you go to my account, you can go ahead and log into your account. So here are the details for my account. I have already set up an account and logged in. Once you've logged into your account, then you're ready to create a live link. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the tool tab within the local application. And as you can see, one of the options we have here is live links. If you click on live link, you'll be able to set up a remote version of your website that someone else can look at from their computer. It is worth noting that in order to make this function correctly, you will need to have local up and running on your computer and your computer does have to be turned on. So if you wanna do something like this, you will need to ensure that your computer is running local and the computer is on. You can't put it to sleep or just turn it off and walk away. In order to do this, you'll go to the live link area and you're gonna make sure that this little button is turned on. This will go ahead and set up a URL for you. You will also be greeted with a username and a password. And then it kind of lets you know, here are the details for sharing. So you could basically just copy this information and share it with whoever may need to look at the site. I'll go ahead and I'll go into Chrome and I'm going to just open up an incognito window. This will allow me to show you how this works and we can go ahead and mimic how this may look on another person's computer. On their computer, they'll go ahead and enter the URL that you've provided to them, and then they're going to need to plug in the username and password that you've given them. Once you've done that, you can click sign in, and as you can see, the website that you've developed is going to show up. This website should function as it did locally on your computer. However, there may be certain situations where some of the content might not come through. You can see that my photo gallery down at the bottom of my homepage does not come through. Let's just quickly look at the rest of the pages of our website. You'll wanna check all of the pages before you share this with someone else so that you can ensure that everything is working in the way that you want it to. It appears that all of my other content is showing up. All of the pages are going to function in the correct way. The only thing that I see that is having problems on my website is that portfolio area on the home page. Sometimes when you use this live link feature from local, there may be an incompatibility with certain themes or plugins or custom code. And there are some situations where some of the front end assets like images or other HTML elements may not show up on your page. If we go ahead and open the developer tools, this can give you a clue as to what the problem may be. You can see up at the top up here, it's stating that I have nine errors. And if I come down, we can see that there is an issue with the URL that was at the top of the page, it has to do with my jQuery. So it's being loaded using HTTPS, but because this particular website is not really a real URL, it's being generated by local, 
that HTTPS URL is not coming through. And because this gallery is dependent on the jQuery plugin, this part of my website is not going to work. And if I open this up, you can see that all of these errors have to do with the images from the gallery. If I wanted to share this with my client, I would need to go through and check it. I would need to let them know if there are any situations where it may not work so that they are prepared for that. But for the most part, your website should function as it does locally on your own computer. This is a really great way to be able to share your progress on a website that you're developing locally with someone else. And it's completely free to be able to do this. Most of the time, this does work fairly well. But as I mentioned, you might find some certain situations where not all of the content is going to load correctly. I hope that you find this helpful and that in a pinch, it may help you to be able to share progress with your client or teammates on any sort of project that you may be working on.